Hello, Yachtfire here. I'm going to take a little time to introduce uh, some materials that are used in the fire curriculum that I work with. This is the Matchstick Forest. I first saw the Matchstick Forest when I attended a workshop that was put on by the U.S. Forest Service uh, to familiarize people with uh, their fire curriculum known as fireworks. The Matchstick Forest consists of uh, a masonite board and it has 49 holes in it for matches, 7 by 7. It has one larger hole and that is where uh, this bolt can be placed and then you can um, change the angle of your array with these bolts and washers that are here. And then we also have a, a matchstick remover which is important after you have um, had a fire move through your, your matchstick forest. Um, obviously, whenever uh, this was designed, it was for to simulate fire passing through forested areas or wooded areas, but this can be used for other ecosystems um, such as grasslands. As long as you have some sort of a vertical fuel array that the fire will pass through, this matchstick uh, forest can be used for those. So to prepare your matchstick forest uh, for the, the lab activities, you obviously need some matches. So here I have a box of uh, your typical kitchen uh, wooden matches. And you would take out the matches, or the students would, and they would place them within the smaller holes all over the board. So since there are 49 um, holes on this board, this does take a little bit of time. Whenever you're done with all of this, you end up with your matchstick forest looking something like this. Another item I think is very handy to have when conducting activities using the matchstick forest is a stove lighter. Uh, instead of using matches to try to light the fire in the matchstick forest or the matchstick grassland, stove lighter uh, makes the students feel a little bit more comfortable as they're, they're lighting that fire. Let's take a moment to see how the hardware that comes with the matchstick forest can be used to change the slope. So you can see I have one nut already on the bolt. I'm just going to place the washer on that. And I'm going to place the bolt through the large hole in the masonite board. And then I'm going to take the other nut and just to kind of secure to maintain the angle that's produced. Have that tight there. And there you can see that now I have a, a very stable uh, matchstick forest, so you don't have to worry um, if the fire is passing through the forest that this is going to fall over. By changing the position of the nuts on the bolt, you can produce a variety of angles. Um, the maximum angle that can be produced with the hardware that's provided is 45 degrees, and then obviously you can work your way down until the matchstick forest is flat at zero degrees. It's very simple to take a protractor and set that up right next to the matchstick forest masonite board to read what the angle happens to be. After a fire has passed through the matchstick forest, it's time to either prepare for the next trial or to clean up uh, after we're finished with the lab. So the Matchstick forest that looks so nice and pretty um, initially may look something like this whenever you're done. So here you can see that in this particular forest or uh, grassland, all of the matchsticks have been consumed, and now we need to um, remove those so that we can put new matches into the system. So the small um, matchstick remover, the wire matchstick remover that's been included in the, uh, the system, uh, you just take that and you push from the bottom up towards the top and you remove all of the matchsticks. And here I have a metal tray that I'm removing them on in case they are still warm. And so take your time, remove all of these, and then you can uh, begin the next trial uh, in your activity. In the summary for this video, I will provide information on how to locate the instructions for the U.S. Forest Service Matchstick Forest.